Today, Mayor de Blasio will sign into law a bill that will help protect our city's immigrants from being detained by NYPD on immigration charges. It's only appropriate that he's doing it here at Our Lady of Sorrows in Corona, where many out-of-status immigrants have found support and safety. So today we take a step to actually align our city to who we are, to get our laws to align to our values, to our nature as New Yorkers, to have our laws respect our people. Every year, three to 4,000 immigrants in New York City have been held in jail not on the basis of a crime, but solely at the request of Immigration and Customs Enforcement, known as ICE. Previous to this law, any time you have any kind of law enforcement contact, ICE can just request you to be detained, no matter what it was, right? And automatically puts you on the fast track to de deportation if you did have a problem with your immigration status. What this law says now is that now immigrants will be treated the same way as anybody else. No longer will you now be held for this additional penalty um, to, to be put before ICE and then face deportation. It's an honor for me to be here today representing Bishop Nicholas DiMarzio, the Bishop of Brooklyn and Queens, who is on his way to Rome today to participate in the a meeting of the Pope's Council on Immigrant and Refugee Affairs. The bills that are going to be signed today will pr prevent the detention and deportation of New York City immigrants who have not been convicted of a violent or serious crime. Such deportations are unnecessary. They rip families apart, making the lives of those left behind much worse. Carlos Rodriguez from Dominican Republic has no criminal record, but was held for eight months in New Jersey on an ICE detainer. Though Carlos is still fighting his case, he is grateful to be back at home with his wife and two-year-old daughter. When you're in detention, you don't have no idea what's happening with your, with your case. You don't have no idea if they're going to pick you up today, if they're going to um, deport you tonight. You don't have no idea what's going to happen. So, but I believe in God, and I believe in my lawyers. They did a great job. And thanks, I always gonna change and appreciate what the um, mayor of the Vasco did. Out there is another family, they can be destroyed, but thanks to this law, something can change now. To do it here on the steps of this church, where we see 11,000 families um, come on any given weekend, um, where families come here to get married like my parents did 38 years ago, but also understanding this is the place that they will come when their husbands are detained not even two miles away from right here where we stand today. So I'm really honored that you chose um, my home and that, you've, you're, that you're doing this, Mr. Mayor, here with us and understanding que pa'lante seguimos, we will move forward. And this is why elections matter. Gracias. Reporting for Currents, I'm Conrad Edward.